was take the time to do a video to go over the settings that I run in Prepare 3D version 3.1 and also the hardware I have that makes all that happen. So let's get right into it. For a graphics card, I'm running the GeForce GTX Titan X. Highly recommend it. Or the 980 Ti, I believe it is. Um, that one is a very close in performance with the Titan X, so either of those two cards will will be gold for you. And then for the uh, CPU, I have the 4790K. It's overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. And for the RAM, I'm running 16 gigs at 2100 megahertz. So that does it for the hardware. That's what I have. Um, I'll, next, I would like to go into Rex for Texture Direct and show you what I have in here. For the low-level clouds, I'm running the uh, 2048 high resolution. And for the... Uh, did I say low-level or high-level? Well, the low-level, 2048. And for the high mid-level clouds, I also run 2048, and then I run 4K for the runways and taxiways. And when you get into these, what I generally like to do, if I don't have a scenery downloaded and I'm just running the default uh, prepare um, airport, uh, we'll go on Google Maps and check out the runways and see how worn they are, and then I'll pick one that's appropriate with uh, whatever runway I'm landing at and taking off from. So that's what I like to do with that. Um, for the for the clouds, I like to use number twelve. That's a good one. I switch them up though, but twelve is um, is a good one. And for the rest of this, I, I like colorful skies, but not too unrealistic. I, I switch these around a lot. Depends on the season and where I'm flying, time of day, things like that. So you can just do whatever with that, but yeah, I think that just about does it for Rex. For uh, if you want to know any more of my settings in this, just let me know. Um, yeah. So lastly, I think. Oh, let's also talk about Active Sky. I don't want to go too into this. Um, for the cloud layers, I have it set at four. I think it's defaulted at five. This can, I, I don't, I haven't determined how much this changes my performance. I know if you bump it up too high, you can start getting your scenery looking too blurry. It might slow down your uh, frames. Uh, I'll just go through a few of these. I have the maximum cloud turbulence. Sorry about that. That was that was Rex. Which let's get out of there. And active sky next. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, the cloud turbulence I have at 100, icing 100, the cloud draw distance I have it at 90. I think in prepare it's set at 100 right now, but it's at 90, 91 actually. And the maximum cloud draw and distance 100. Oh yeah, this is what I meant. That's the minimum. Yeah, the maximum I have at 100. Actually, I'm gonna bring that down to 90. I don't know why it's that high. Don't need it up there. Let's see. I don't have this enabled. The uh, the wean fade effect. Uh, minimum surface visibility is zero. The maximum is a hundred, and the maximum upper is a hundred. And I have the auto adjust upper visibility on. So that's all I'm going to go into with that. Let's get into the bulk of it. The most important stuff. Prepares actual settings. Um, I got th three settings profiles, low, medium, and high. I recommend you do that because you'll be in a lot of different situations where uh, you might need to pick one or the other. For the high settings, I generally can pull this off with good frame rate with the smaller aircraft. Sometimes not if the weather is too complex. Um, I, I will drop it to the medium settings, and those work fine. But... Uh, first, I'll show you the high. It, they pretty much speak for themselves. Uh, you can take a look at everything here. have this basically maxed out. Target frame rate, unlimited. These are all maxed. I have the special effects of medium because the, uh, I struggle to get good frame rate with, um, with it on high. Um, lighting. 
Fighting Eye will say, be careful with the bloom. You have that too high. It'll make your um, your landing lights look pretty unrealistic as you're going down the runway. Um, just these three checked. I have it like this on all three of my profiles with just internal vehicle, external, sim objects, and only receiving on the internal and external portion of it. For the weather, this is at 90, but no matter where you put this, uh, if you have active sky, it will take over and use its own settings. For the traffic, for this profile, I'm running it at 30. Uh, really hard to get a good frame rate running it at 100 for me anyway. Um, it just drops off too much. I have these down to 10. And uh, airport vehicle density completely off. Uh, it's just my personal preference because um, the AI isn't as good as it should be, you know. Nothing like spending 30 minutes preparing for a flight just to have uh, an airport vehicle run into you. It's just not fun. So, you've seen these. Now, I'll go into the medium. This is my favorite settings because I can run it pretty much on everything, and it's crucial for the PMDG for me to have these settings. So, it's basically the same as the, as the high on this page. Um, I want to mention also I have the FXAA off. When I have it on, uh, it was like this on the um, the high profile too, but I forgot to mention it. But when I have it on, uh, everything's just a, a little blurry. It, it's a little sharper with it off, so I keep it off. Yeah, sharp is good. And then again, have this unlimited. For the scenery, working with ultra high, 5 meters, 30 centimeters. Have these at dense. And uh, I have the special effects at low completely, and the water detail at high. Now, depending on the scenery, I might move one of these up. If I'm dealing with like New York, Manhattan, I might drop, bump it up a little bit to see some more buildings. It just depends. But I generally will keep it like this. Lighting is pretty much the same. Same thing over here. Weather, it's 90. But no matter where you put it, like I said, it's it's going to put it where it wants. I have the uh, road vehicles at 25, these down to f 5. Again, road vehicles, um, just play around with this because, yeah, it can, it can drop off your frames. And that is it for the medium. Going to low. Everything's the same on here. I can, I can run it with, with these still. It doesn't really affect my frame rate. I've, I've tested it on all of them. Um, the FXA is still off. Unlimited over here. Uh, I have wide view selected, but that depends what aircraft I'm in. If I'm do using the uh, fighter jets, I like to have the wide view to see a little more, but generally for everything else, I, I don't use it. But it just happens to be on for this profile. Then for the scenery, I have it all the way down to medium here and here. Uh, the mesh resolution at 19 meters and the texture resolution at 1 meter. And I have the scenery objects all at normal. And the special effects at low. And yeah, same story on all that. Lighting, pretty much the same story. Same thing here. Weather, we've covered that. Traffic, I've knocked it down to 15. And the aviation traffic is still at 5. So there you have it. That is my settings for Prepare 3D. Um, again, I recommend just setting up 3, you know, and then, and then just when you go to the airport to see what you get. Some sceneries will get you, which get you good frames. Other sceneries won't by default. And the active sky weather that's going on in the real world at the time has a big part to do with your frame rate. Um, especially as you take off and you're heading up through the clouds, you might get a little lag when you get to the clouds. So you got to be careful with that. So, you know, watch that. Um, other than that, that is my settings. I haven't done anything in the, um, the config file or the uh, NVIDIA inspector. I haven't, I haven't really made any changes in that. So I'm not going to go over those. But when I do, or if anybody's interested in, in that, I can... I can do a video about that. But yeah, this is going to do it. I hope this helps you in some way. Um, yeah, uh, that's all for me. And you guys have fun simming out there.
happy flights.